Howdy, and welcome to my early impressions slash review of Plantera. It's a clicker game made by Varag TP. You start out with a little cash and the possibility to place carrots. They will grow and you can pick them up if you want to, or you can let your little helper pick them up for you. It will be quicker for yourself to pick them up, but he's there to help you if you can't be bothered. When you get money, you will also gain XP. More money, more XP. The more XP, the quicker you go up in level. The more levels you have, the bigger variety you get in what you can plant. You have three different styles of cash growers. Vegetables, bushes and trees. The trees and the bushes will have their fruit fall down automatically and you can pick it up if you like. Or you can have your slaves pick it up for you. You can in total place three different money makers on each plot. So you can place a tree, a bush and vegetables on the same slot. When you go out of slots, you can upgrade your land to make it bigger, giving you more cash. After a while, you can buy animals. Here I have bought three chickens. And the chickens lay eggs and they give you more gold. When you get to a higher level, you can get different types of animals, which will make you even more gold. As you can see here, I have now gained a few levels and gotten a bigger variety in animals, trees, bushes and vegetables. Every now and then a little boss comes around and you can spam click him to get a quite a lot of cash. There's also these little insects everywhere that starts to glow after a while. And when you click them, you get more cash. After a while, you can get one huge garden. And, huge garden, lots of cash. The bad guys in this game are the insects, the birds and the little monsters that comes now and then. After a while, you can buy dogs to guard your cash growers from monsters and you can buy scarecrows which will scare away the birds. After a while you will stop getting new varieties of cash growers and you will gain stars on the ones you already have instead. Each star will upgrade your current ones to make you gain more cash per harvested fruit or vegetable. All in all it's a decent clicker game because it's not as tedious as other clicker games. But I feel something is missing. I miss the end game if that's even a thing. I miss bosses. Big, mean, grunty bad guys that comes around now and then. Maybe they'll add it in the future? I think it's a solid game, but it's still missing this little extra. It's only two bucks on Steam. And did I like it? Yes, I did. Form of a panther. But what will it become once your journey truly begins? A great calm descends on you. Outside the hut. You hear the outpost settlement stirring into life. Time then to depart. You lift back up the flap of the hut and step into the early morning sunshine. 